Good afternoon. Welcome to the February 15, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Moark Eggs. In today's report, what are the early industry expectations for hot dogs? And later, as we approach Easter, what can be expected with an uneventful pork market? Now let's look at the markets with your host, Michael Ramson. Good afternoon. Today, Food Market reports that recent consumer research indicates that retailers' prepared food offerings have evolved to the point that they are viable alternatives to all types of restaurants. In fact, 40% of consumers surveyed in Southern California agreed that prepared foods from retailers are restaurant-quality foods at better prices. For more information on this story and others in the food service industry, please visit foodmarket.com. Now here's red meat market reporter Bill Smith with what to expect from the hot dog industry leading into the spring season. As winter hits its stride, the hot dog industry is expected to up its preparations for the busiest part of the year as hungry hot dog eaters will be out in force for another summer of barbecue, baseball games, and beach trips. According to recent Absano reports, both fresh 50s and 90s are slated to trend higher throughout the spring. In fact, fresh 50s are projected to hit $1.29 in May, where the historical high is only $1.30. Additionally, fresh 90s, already at the historical high of $2.16, are expected to reach as high as $2.30 in April. Currently, industry participants have indicated that inventories of hot dogs are a little lighter than normal going into this period. Meanwhile, fresh 90s are currently rated steady to firmer as a result of limited availability of livestock, while fresh 50s are rated mostly steady. Thanks, Bill. To conclude today's video, here is pork market reporter Ross Barton about a flat pork market and what to expect leading up to Easter. Sometimes one can make a story out of nothing, or in this case, sideways, anticlimactic movement. The pork industry has trudged along for the past several weeks with little in the way of price direction or market moving headlines. As of Monday, over the course of the past 14 business days, Operating margins have remained negative, albeit moving closer to the black by just under $5. Direct hogs were unchanged. Heavy hams and bellies appreciated by a modest 1.4 and 4.2 percent, respectively. Medium spare ribs are unchanged. Quarter inch loins and butts have moved negative 1.7 and 2.7 percent, respectively. And as a whole, the cutout has posted a dismal 0.707 percent appreciation. Exports have been the lifeline for the market in past weeks as domestic demand suffers. In comparison to past years, most items appear flatlined compared to what is normally a slightly more volatile time period. Retail product is clearing slightly better than previous weeks, although not enough to see momentum. Overall, to this point, the market has been waiting for the first shoe to drop. Yet with interest the way it has been, we may have to approach closer to Easter before any substantial price movement is seen. Thanks, Russ. That wraps up Burner Berry's Daily Market video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services, providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at www.moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866-757-EGGS.